Welcome to the Rick Bork Channel, where the beer's always cold, language fucking sucks, my shit's always broken, and your opinion doesn't matter. Borkfest 2022 is July 29th and 30th, so come on over and have a beer and have a good time, and you can regret yourself later. Ah. Okay, so that was the last pass on that end. I need to true up that inside corner, and I know, yeah, you should probably have your end on there, but I have the bits. I don't have the chuck to uh, start your tapered end, so I'll get one later. Fuck it. Whatever. So we're going to go ahead and spin this thing around on here. I got to, ouch. Oh, right in my fucking hand. That's what I got. The mag mount and this do not fucking get along, I can tell you. Um... And all of this. <laughs> Magnets over here are a bad idea. I'm just saying. I'm going to put this down here. We want to make sure we put our lathe back into manual position. <clears throat> Shut off our kill switch. We're going to go ahead and uh, chuck this thing in here this direction. Leave a good bit sticking out because we want uh, we want to be able to work in that back corner there, and we're gonna have to change that bit. That is a left hand facing bit. I'm gonna need a right hand facing bit. See how that one faces to the right. So that's what we're going to need for this. Yeah, we can bring this down here. And we're just going to true this inside there. So we'll actually bring it everything I do here is going to be manual because well, it's just it's what I trust. So this knob is a little bit of a pain in my rear, but whatever. Transmission gear disengaging.
Okay, so we're uh, we're making progress here. I'll show you. So we cut our handle. We cut our handle with the die grinder. We uh, turned that to go there, and opposed to that, we got our crank handle that we turned. See that nice and little shoulder on there. She looks kind of minty, huh? So I am going to go ahead and put a little bit of grease on that. And then this comes here from this side. It's actually a nice tapered fit. But first, we want to go ahead and weld this collar on from this direction so we can get that in place. So we'll get the welder set up and I'll bring you back. Okay. So, off camera, we uh, got this thing welded, because I didn't want to get more spatter marks on there, so it's welded together. We uh, pressed our pin through the back and welded that, and then I drilled and tapped for a quarter by 28 um, set screw on there. So, we'll uh, throw this thing on and see if it works. So, I want the set screw to engage with this flat that's on there it's a 764 well i thought it was ah. maybe it's not 964 ish no I know it's quarter by tw 28 because I measured the damn thing. Eighth. Eighth sounds about right, doesn't it? Right, come on. Okay. That doesn't go in there either. Is the end of that fucker a little wing dinged or what? Okay, fuck's sake. Story of my life, I just want to wrap up the fucking widget and you can't find it that fits the damn thing, so I'm gonna go dig in here. Come the 15 mil or 15 T15 torques fits in there pretty good. Fuck it, we'll snug up with that. I don't care. There you go. Um, Now I realize for some of you guys that are fucking experts, this doesn't really mean shit, but we uh, took that old broken crank handle, I even utilized the old uh, set screw out of it. That thing's junk, we made us a new crank handle. And the important thing to me was getting a little fucking, uh, little time on that lathe. We gotta make a couple adjustments to it yet, it ain't perfect, but I mean, heck. That's a nice uh, crank handle, if you ask me. Some old scraps laying around and an old hitch pin. That all works out. Baylor parts, hitch pins, brackets. Who knows? You know what? At the end of the day, you just come up with what you can and make it work, right? One thing I'll say to you guys... Like I said, for the experienced guys, it doesn't fucking matter. You don't care. If you ever thought about it and you ever wanted to and just mm, fucking don't want to pull the... Just jump on one. Get one. Fucking pull the trigger. Get, the, get one of those little cheap Chinese fuckers. Shut up, dog. Get one of those little cheap Chinese fuckers and try it out. I mean, worst case scenario, hell, we got to make more parts for the lathe now. So that way we can make the rest of this stuff. 
It's just how it works. She wants in because she's cold. Shut up. Go lay down. Oh shit, it's on. Okay. Mm. 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 Beer's good tonight. New policy is take one, crush one. Well, fucking drink one, crush one. Whatever. We got a little bit ahead on the fucking drinking versus the crushing, but we're caught up now. So, um, the old fucking kill boat is back in the shop. Did a good job, kicked ass, took names. Cleaned up what we needed to, and I'm not going to do too much fucking uh, snow plowing vidges for you because, well, it gets kind of dumb. I mean, even for me, I'm fucking over it at this point. If I could get out and do some cool shit like a drone or something like that, but where we get a lot of fucking snow, we can get the fucking bee plow out on the skitter. Anyway, um, that'd be pretty fucking kick ass, right? Bob Bates texts me, brother, love you, man. Um, I think we're going to work on this fucking drill press try to get this son of a bitch done tonight. Well, get it operational. I think we're, we're going to make another video working on the fucking drill press because we went and got the drill press so we could get the drill press to fix the fucking... Um, we got the drill press to fix the bandsaw, but in, mid, in the meantime, we had to set up the bench lathe so we could make parts, fix the fucking drill press, so we could fix the fucking bandsaw, so we could build the press, so we could take the fucking, build the jig, so we can take the damn A apart, so we can fix the steering. Does that make sense? No. I need a beer. <laughs> um, <clears throat> what do you want to drink tonight, there, Ricky Dicky? Well, we're just gonna go. We're gonna go back to the Budweiser. Fucking dog, trying to kill me. Uh, and think she doesn't want my beer. Okay. Shut up. So, happy discovery on the um, drill press here. So I was gonna buff this thing down and just uh, hit it with the black fucking rust oleum. Turns out the factory finish is still there and it's not in too bad a shape. There might be a little creeping in on the bottom there, but I'm not too worried about it because it's not gonna get any worse sitting here on a concrete slab. So, versus sitting in the dirt that it's been in for the last fucking 12 or 15 years so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna clean all this up and uh not much to see there wire wheel and uh same roll lock disc that i was using before um not that number it's gonna be dumb so we're uh we're gonna polish that son of a bitch up real quick and i'll bring you back and I'll show you off what I fucking <whistles> made her fucking shady. So, I'll do that and, I'll, and I'll bring it bring it back or I don't know. We're gonna get this drill press done eventually. I swear to God, we will. And then we'll go on to the fucking we'll move on to that rack. Beer cans and bandsaws. Woo! That'll be the next video series. <laughs> it's recycling <clears throat> simultaneous take one open one for fuck's sake there you go mm -mm. 
Talking to a couple of good folk on here tonight. Ryan from over at uh, Stray Pipe Acres. Appreciate you, bud. Jeff Weinstock. Appreciate you, man. Dave. Just chatting with everybody tonight a little bit. Um, so look at that base. Fuck, I thought I was going to have to paint it up. Shit, I think that's good enough. We're going to throw a little oil on that surface. Fucking mint. A little bit down there on the edges. But ain't nothing I'm worried about. The fuck? Oh, I suppose because I got that air chuck in there. Nico does not like the air compressor. And he does not like the air hose. I don't know what he gets mad about that son bitch for, but he doesn't like that shit, so... I'm not going to make him go running outside, but as soon as I pull on that hose reel, fucking he's gone. He doesn't like when I blow on, use the air blower, so I don't have any reason to use it, so I'm not going to antagonize him. But, yeah, I don't, I don't know what that is. Gunshots he's okay with all of a sudden, but now he doesn't like the fucking air compressor, so, or the air blower. What up? So I'm going to take and wipe that down, and then we'll get to the table. The tilt and swivel and fucking that part of it. And I'll kind of explain to you what my fucking plan there is, because... Well, it's just easier if I try to explain it to you, because... Show ya. Show ya. Not explain it, because... I don't enunciate very well. All right, so we're uh, grinding rust again. Ooh. Boy, this fucking can of O'Reilly's fucking, she's got some snort to her. Shit. Um, buff this thing down. Give her a little fucking, I didn't mean to get that on there. We'll just give that a shot of oil too. But we uh, buff this table down as well. And as you can see, so I just did a, a quick uh, relative square check, not not completely precise, but you know, within fuck couple percent. You're uh, can you read that? Yeah, you're not even fucking close to zero on there. That's fine. Whatever. As long as I know that, I was, it, it's it's fine. Again, the so that means when that hole that was drilled here before, I don't, ho hopefully you can see that, yeah, that hole. The screen on the back of the camera goes fucking dark after a minute, so that was drilled at the zero zero position, so it was lined up, so that hole doesn't line up correctly and you can't pin it at zero. I could oversize that and then put a zero degree pin in the fucker by putting a bit in it, squaring the table, and drilling it out. Yeah, I'm not too worried about it at this point. We can, should be able to tighten that up enough that it'll stay there. If I get into the point where I need to do frequent angle adjustments, then we'll uh, build another apparatus to make it so that we can do that a little bit easier, but I wouldn't think that I need to do a lot of angle adjustments on the fucking thing, so. I'm just saying. Um... So the base is cleaned up and installed. The uh, table's cleaned up and installed. And the nice part is somebody's only ran a bit into this bastard once, which is amazing. You have all seen the fucking, if you've been around the drill press, you've all seen them have the fucking pock marks everywhere because and they're, they're in a radius where the fucking table swings and rotates. So the table that can do that, right? And you'll have fucking fucking pock marks everywhere because they ran the fucking bit into the table this one doesn't have that so now we have we got to check our clearance on our crank handle here too look at that if i would have went any longer with that swing arm but look at that shit pretty nice huh nice machine in there ricky dicky it's fucking amateur lathe work at best, all right? But it looks okay for a fucking, for a drill press, right? So, um, other than oiling this thing down and probably lubing that chuck a little bit in this area, you don't want to do too much in there because then you won't grip the bit as tight. It's just 
factoid. I'm gonna wipe the, the motor, the body of this thing down, and then we can uh, address this top part. The only reason that I really wanna cover the belts is because the dust and the dirt in here. Uh. We'll get on the belts and you're more prone to slipping and shit like that. So, the nice part is we have a, we have a metal base on the belt. So, I think it's only suiting that we do a little sheet metal work and build the top. But, 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 I don't think that's for this video. You don't think that's for this video either. We should probably bang out a nice little fucking top for this thing. And I'm not sure how involved I want to get. How much sheet metal do you want to work do you want to do? See, we, we're, we're going to get into a lot of things that I can show you. Or may, may, maybe it's not even a fucking, you don't care, but we'll fucking get into some sheet metal work. I got to find some sheet metal anyway, because... The heavy gauge stuff that I got. Nah, it's too heavy for this, but we'll dig around. We'll find something. We're going to build a cover for the fucking drill press. So you guys like what I'm doing? Throw me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. Ring the bell. Get my notifications. Memberships are down there if you want one, and I do appreciate it because it sincerely it does help out. Everything you guys do, watching an ad, whatever it is, it's uh, it all helps out on the channel. Just... Fucking, you guys are you guys are what's doing it for me. So, I I thank you very much, and I appreciate you. And if you've made it this far, you're good shit in my book. See you guys next time.